Welcome back to From the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back with another opening. Today, it is 2017-2018 Upper Deck Series 2. And to be honest, this is a not-so-great <laughs> year for young guns. Uh, there's a couple guys. There's Nolan Patrick. Uh, there's Sam Gerrard. There's Ndelkovich. Um, there's Clayton Keller. For the most part, there's not a whole lot in here that you could really hit that's going to be crazy. There's no, you know, Lafreniers. There's no... Pedersons, there's no anything like that. Um, but you can get some canvases, young guns too. The real big ones you're chasing in here, though, that are super hard to find. Uh, one is a Sidney Crosby Young Guns Retro Acetate. There's a couple other ones like John, John Tavares, um, uh, Drew Doughty, a couple of guys like that. And there's also a Day with the Cup, and it's actually Phil Kessel, and apparently it goes for a bunch of money too. Uh, I'm going to start it off, though. With these real quick, I bought these two at the same time when I bought that, and I just want to rip them. And I've you know learned now, don't rip anything off the channel. And I'm obviously not just gonna do an episode for like three of these packs. Don't open anything off the channel because in my luck, I'll hit something big. So series one, starting it off. Farley, Grimaldi, we got a portraits rookie. Of Tars, not rookie, just Thomas Shabbat. This is regular portraits. So get that out of the way. Series two now, just from one to the next. Man, I just, there we go. Can I get this without a breaker knife? There we go. Tell you, they don't rip like prison packs or anything, that's for sure. Um, there we go, series two. You guys know who we're looking for. Another young gun looking for that. We got a young gun, Jeff Skinner, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Claude Giroux, and the young gun's gonna be a D-man, Nikolai Kiznishkov, Kiznishkov, for the Sharks. So there's our first young gun of the day. Hopefully some other, there's a couple decent ones in here. Like I said, not, not a ton, uh, but that's not what we're here for. Backdrop for the day, it is kind of more of this 2017, 2018. We got JT Confer, we got Tyson Yost, and we got Ivan Barbashev. So we'll put Knisov up there. Come on, big kind of retro or tribute young gun. That's what we're looking for in this in the extended series. I really love the extended, like those tribute young guns. They look awesome. Uh, Mark Stahl. Now oh, it's going to be a victory. It's a victory of, there we go, Connor McDavid. Gonna, once again, I always say it, if you're going to hit a veteran, hit a Connor. Uh, that's kind of what you're looking for. This little insert for Connor McDavid. So put him up. And then we're into the hobby box. So I said, I wanted to open those. And I'm like, I'm going to open these up. And I'm going to hit like a Lafreniere, a Kaprizov, <laughs> you know, hit a... Stutzel retro young gun or tribute young gun for the 12th time. Um, so I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open it up when I do before I do this. So uh, pop that open. So it's typical, you're going to get six uh, young guns per this. You're going to get some canvas uh, cards, four per. I think it's six Apichi inserts per. And what's the other one that's going on? Um, Portraits, you're gonna get some portraits too. So, but we're kind of hoping for those inserts instead. So, we Anti Ranta, Pink Patrono, it's a kind of a sweet looking card, Alexander Edler, Colin Wilson, and a Marky Rookie, Gisper Brat. So, there's the first Opeachy, Nick Bonino, Verbrata, and Hansen. So, I said, it, this is like a, a super boomer bust. It's also not like, this is less than series two packs for this year, uh, high boxes. So it's not that crazy price. So you're not, I don't know, I just wanted to open something different. Uh, Patrick Eves, obviously you guys have seen some of the the series two and stuff uh, on the channel lately with all those like hockey pack openings and stuff. But uh, Ryan O'Reilly, we got our first young gun. Where the young gun go again? Okay, so we, these are great for like opening. So it's the center, and the center's for Coyotes, Clayton Keller. 
there we go. That is kind of might be the biggest name that you're looking for out of all this. So that's a heck of a start. Clayton Keller for the Coyotes. Corners are decent on it. Yeah, that's a decent looking young gun. Nothing wrong with that at all. Centering doesn't look terrible. Maybe a little bit heavy on the left, but put him in a top loader too. And we'll get him going. But boom, that, like I said, I think that might be the, the young gun to find out of all this. Obviously, as a Colorado fan, I, there's, you know, Sam Gerrard. He's a pretty good big guy on my end of it. Um, but for a lot of other people, obviously, Clayton Keller might be the big one. I'm just going to try to reorganize this so you guys can still see me. So I'm not putting all this in the middle of the thing. There you go. That'll work. Um, so we got Bramistrov, Pouliot, Mike Green, and Granlin. So try to get through these. That kind of, like, held me up for a second, but... No, it's uh, hockey season. It's getting closer, but uh, Radulov, Warthog, Ron, Ron Hainsey, Dmitry Orlov, Chris Letang, and this is going to be a canvas of EJ, Eric Johnson, the Condor, coming back this year. We'll put him up. We'll put uh, put Nikolai down. Put, put, put McDavid over there. And put the Condor up front. May as well. Uh, McDonough, Dubnik, and Aaron Ekblad. Aaron Ekblad. It's, I feel like the Panthers could have done something last year. Like I think if he maybe stays healthy, maybe they have a better chance. They obviously played really well anyways. And that was without their captain, without the best defenseman on that team. So it's hard to say. Uh, David DeHarnay, Travis Hamanick, Thomas Hurdle. And a UD Portraits of Rasmus Anderson. RNH. And then Jonathan Bernier with Colorado. Brett, Brett Connolly, too. So, like I said, not looking for a ton in this. Like I said, that Clayton Keller definitely helps because that's, like I said, one of the bigger ones uh, out of this. Like I said, it's just not a great, not a great crop for, for young guns for this series, too. It's, I don't know. It's uh, you know, we have the print run here. Patrick Eves, and this is going to be, of course it is, a Young Guns checklist because we just can't not hit the Young Guns checklist on this channel. Uh, this one's going to be Clayton Keller and Nolan Patrick. So Nolan Patrick just signed a two-year deal with his new team. I'll take the Condor down. Um, of course we have that. We can't not hit a Young Guns checklist lately. I've hit it in everything. Like, like random packs, like super random packs, everything like just doesn't make sense. Uh, but Nolan Patrick, I, I don't think a kid dealt with a lot of other injuries and stuff over in with the Flyers. Like, I think they were just like, look, we'll just cut our losses, you know, try to try to figure this out. Uh, Darnell Nurse, Robin Leonard, Clef Bomb, Zabinajad. And another marquee rookie. There we go. Nolan Patrick. So you got two Nolan Patricks. Uh, we got two Clayton Kellers. Just all over the place. So like I said, we're looking for six young guns. That is a two already off the board. Two including Clayton Keller. That's that is not too bad. I don't think that that's probably like a, I don't know what it said underneath me here, but that's probably like a dollar to five dollar young gun, I'm assuming, uh, for that checklist. Brent Burns. Oh, there we go. That was third card in. Uh, Danik Martell for the Flyers. And then behind it is a rookie material of Tage Thompson. A couple other guys behind it. Nieto, but Tage Thompson and the rookie materials. I have a different color. I thought maybe it might be um, numbered or something like that. I do have thick sleeves. I'm kind of all disorganized over here. I really got to figure out a different setup. Maybe put like a little 
something beside me so I can grab stuff off it. And this end of the bar is not uh, not enough room for sure. So we'll take down the McDavid, put the Danik, we'll take down the checklist, and then I'm gonna grab a thick sleeve for that. Throw that in, and that'll be kind of our centerpiece now. Boom. So that's two Flyers Young Guns, two uh, Coyotes Young Guns, and then a Tage Thompson for the rookie materials. We get Ovi, get Ryan O'Reilly, Paul Martin, and Opeachy of Yager over Calgary. The man's still out there just putting up numbers. Like, obviously, he's like not flying around like he used to, but. He's just out there playing in wherever it is. And he's kind of kind of set up came out and said, like, I'm the I'm the draw. Like people are coming to see me. Like if I leave, like I'm doing it for the team. I'm doing it for everything to keep, you know, everything going. So we had David Perron. Is there actually yeah, sticking that bat? David Perron. Carlson before he got traded. Alexander Steen. Another young gun. This is gonna be a right winger for the Coyotes. This is Nick Merkley. This is what, like, a, just a flyer? Oh, we got a clear cut behind it. D-Man for the Sharks. Tim Heed. What a random... Some of this stuff's been, like, really randomly inserted here. Uh, so we got Nick Merkley. I'm so discombobulated right now. Uh, Nick Merkley. We'll throw him in a sleeve here, but we'll just put him off to the side. Nothing personal, Nick, but... We'll put Clayton Keller up there. And then a Tim Heed Young Gun clear cut. That's not the clear cut Young Gun we want. We want the acetate clear cut of Sidney Crosby, please. And thank you. Uh, there you go. Some information on born 1991. Still only 20 years old. It's a young guy. 20? No, that makes him 30 now. He's old. Never mind. He's old. He's an old Young Gun. I guess we'll put him up instead of Danik Martel, but clear cut young gun of uh, Tim Heed. So we have McDavid base, Bo Horvat, and Yager again. So this has been such a weird, I feel like this is a weird box. And obviously I haven't, I haven't opened one of these in a long time, but um, I feel like this is just a weird box. This is, yeah, Tyler Ennis, uh, Thomas Tatar, David Pasternak. That aside, Jacob Truba and a marquee rookie of Giovanni Fiore. That's kind of the kind of a retro peachy marquee rookie. Patty Kane, Krejci, and Riley Smith. Like the young guns were coming on like the second card. Then you're getting a clear cut behind a young gun. I feel like that was like usually inserted like randomly like now I guess now it is but Artem and Isimov can't like try to miss any of these second cards now because you never know what they could be. Uh, Johnny Oduya, former Moncton Wildcat Johnny Oduya of course. Uh, Riley Nash, Tyler Toffoli, and a Marky Rookie. This is like a foil insert of Brendan Lemieux. So, nice little foil insert. Uh, we get Brian, Ryan Boyle, real deal James Neal, and the king, Henrik Lundqvist. So, we got a clear cut. We got a look of materials. We got a Clayton Keller. Not a bad box, <laughs> really. Got a Connor McDavid insert. Uh, Ryan Suter got screwed. Uh, Mike Smith, Cam Atkinson. Another young gun. Here we go. It's a D man for the Capitals. Madison Bowie. Haven't heard that name in a while. That's not a good thing, by the way. <laughs> when you you get a young gun and you're like, I haven't heard that name in a while. That's not a good thing. Um, that's a bad thing. You want to know that these rookies have kind of been playing lately. And I don't know who Madison Bowie's playing for anymore. How old is Madison Bowie now? Born in 1995. That makes him 26. That's not that old. It's a 
defenseman out of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Madison Bowie. Should I? We'll leave. Mm, yeah, we'll take down Tim Heed. Tim, you had a good run up there. Sorry, bud. We'll put up Madison Bowie. Clayton Keller is going to be hard to take off here. I'm telling you right now. It's, uh, <laughs> it's going to be quite the young gun to, to beat him out. We're into like four young guns already, I think. Two. So, uh, Paul Martin, Tyler Ennis, Thomas Tatar, and a canvas of Vladimir Sabotka, Jimmy Howard, Jack Johnson, Patty Kane again, and David Krejci again. There we go. Sabotka. I think he's. I think he's playing the KHL now. I think he's just gone. This one's like extra. This one's like extra stuck. These were way easier. Obviously, I don't know how to use use my breaker knife. But these were way easier than what's going on now. Uh, so we got Delzato. We got Craig Smith. We got a Kevin Shattenkirk. I'm just the OPG. Uh, Brad Richardson, Matt Bolesky. So nothing too, too crazy. That Clayton Keller is pretty good, though. We're hoping for Day with a Cup, which is super short print. I think it's like one in a thousand packs or something like that. So, you know, you're not even talking one in a, in a case at that point. You're talking one in every couple of cases. Uh, and then you're obviously hoping for a certain one. Uh, Mike Smith. Call that person back. Uh, Mike Smith. Cam Atkinson. And a portrait of Martin Nikas. So there we go. Tyler Johnson. Jeff Skinner. Elias Lindholm. And a Darcy Kemper. So we got here. We got Anders Lee, Travis Dyke, Alexander Wenberg, Jarmelson, a marquee rookie of Sam Gerard. There we go. A little car out of love here. For Sam Gerard. I don't have his young gun. Carl Alsner, Mark Giordano, and Chad at the very end of it. We got eight packs left. Trying to fly through this. Obviously, I like, kind of had a little bit of a <laughs> slow start. Also, you opened three packs at the start of this, too. So, uh, Brandon Sod, Derek England, Anthony Duclair, Dylan Larkin, and another one of these marquee rookies. This one's Kai Yamamoto. And Kyler Yamamoto. Uh, Patty Marlowe, Bozak, and Andrew McDonald. Former Moncton Wildcat, Andrew McDonald. I don't care if you guys are tired of the former Moncton Wildcat thing. It's going to always happen. That's the way it works. We got Nikolai Ehlers, the Diving Dane himself. Scott Darling. We got Getze. A young gun. It's a left winger for the Ducks. This is Kevin Roy. Kevin Waugh? Kevin Waugh, I think it is. Connor Murphy. Franz Nielsen. Tanner Pearson, Martin Jones. Man, those are all sick and so good. Um, so there we go. Kevin Awa. I think he played in the queue, didn't he? Yeah, definitely did. I think he played for like Quebec. I think he was one part of those one of those big teams. 5'9, 1993. Once again. He's old now. He's 28 years old. I know. Just think of that. So when the 91, I saw the 91 earlier, I was like, oh, it's not that old. And then I'm like thinking, I'm like, nope, nope, never mind. That's old. Got my numbers mixed up for a second. So I think when my birthday is, I'm definitely not 20. So uh, David Pasternak, Jacob Truba, Radulov, Ron Hainsey, and a Jake DeBrusque marquee rookie. Maybe another one of those foils. And that goes aside because that's going to be for Tucker. Uh, Riley Smith, Donna, and Devin Dubnik. So, all the Boston cards. I don't want them anyways because they're Boston, but they all go to somebody else. Uh, Sean Couturier, 
Craig Smith, Brandon Saad, another marquee rookie of Owen Tippett. I feel like Owen Tippett, he was like a top, he was a first round pick, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure he was like early on in the first round. Does it say on here? Doesn't say anything. He's only born in 1999, so he's still young. Owen Tippett. 99, so he's only 22. It's young. That one's actually young. Owen Tip is actually young. The rest of them, they're not. Uh, Dmitry Orlov. We got William Carlson. I'm running out of room over here. We got Brent Burns at the man bun. We got another portrait of Robert Hegg for the Flyers. Akbad, Nieto, and you see Jokinen. So we only got three packs left. Three packs between us. Sidney Crosby, retro acetate, young gun. It's going to happen, right? Just going to wait for the last pack. That's all it's going to do. Uh, Milan Lucic, Brian Elliott, Antti Ranta, Frank Vetrano, and a Luke Coonan. Minnesota Wild. Tavares, I'll even take a Tavares Young Gun Retro Estate right now. You know, if I have to, right? Clayton Keller, come on. Uh, Brendan Smith, Jonathan Drouin, the big story out on him. If you guys want, go watch it. Explains about a lot of stuff that he dealt with. That's kind of a top five pick. People don't remember that stuff. They just like, and I, I do it myself. Like, you don't really think about it. You're like, oh, yeah. These guys, these kids are so lucky. It's a lot of pressure for these kids, right? They're drafted in the first round. They're supposed to be the savior of these teams. Um, and sometimes it just doesn't happen. So uh, Brock Nelson. We got a canvas of Steve Mason for the Jets. We got a Jake Gardner, Connor Hellebuck. Another checklist because what is an opening without a checklist here? Uh, last pack. We have all our young guns. We got one, two, one, two. Three. I think we might have all of our young guns. Yeah, because if they count the checklist, I guess. Can we have all of our young guns? Maybe. We'll see. Maybe we get a canvas. Lots of other options here. Victor Sodstrom. Another checklist. We got Trevor Daly. You get it's kind of odd, like the underneath of it. Uh, you get Jonathan Marshall, so and we got an RNH canvas. So, no big hits. That Clayton Keller obviously helps out a little bit. Um, this is just like I said, fun opening. Do I recommend buying it? Um, probably not, just because not a whole lot of hits. I just wanted something different to open up for the channel. So. Uh, if you're not me and you're not a soccer punishment, uh, probably don't buy 2017-2018 Series 2. Like I said it was just, it's been sitting there. It's been eyeing me at the hobby shop for a while. I've opened up a lot of Series 2 for this year, a lot of Series 1, a lot of extended series. So it's one of those things I was like, oh, what do I want to buy? There's some other super, you know, more expensive high boxes, but I was like, ah, this is a cheaper one. Um, yeah, I'll grab this one instead. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And for Eric from the bench, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Also, go check out my grading videos. Okay, bye, guys.